guys welcome to my vlog it's been a long time I'm going to try to do um, try to do this vlog and kind of give you sort of an update on what's going on and uh, all of that as I am traveling to Vegas so Jay and I are leaving in to Vegas it is currently it is March 2nd can you believe it's March 2nd already oh my god and um, Jay and I are heading out to Vegas in two days. We're going out there for our Berkshire Hathaway annual convention. And we are also going to be doing two days uh, up in the Grand Canyon before convention. So I'm like super excited about that because neither one of us have been to the Grand Canyon at all. So that's going to be like really excited. The major dilemma for me is going to be sun protection. I've been using a new tretinoin with hydroquinone and it is really, really lifting my skin. It is really causing me to peel and I want to make sure that all that skin underneath is protected. So I'm trying a couple of new things. I'm going to show them to you. Gold. This is the mineral, um, Min mineral lotion, non-greasy, and it's the 50 SPF Botanical, Botanica. I love this. This is tinted. I have been like on a hunt. Like, what can I wear underneath? Is there something better than this? What can I try? So I tried this. And, oh my gosh, um, this is the Shishado. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. This is the uh, Sport BB. It's got a 50 SPF. It's tinted. I got this because my very, very good friend, Sheila, Life with Lily, raves about this. And a number of other women have raved about this as well. But Sheila said, give this a try. So I bought this and I also bought the regular um, Shiseido Sunblock. This is, I think this is 50. I could wear this alone or over my makeup and all of that stuff. So I went to the outlet store, the Bare Minerals outlet store, and this is where I bought both of these. So, you know, they, I, they're they a little bit more pricey in Macy's, obviously, but I really wanted to, to protect my skin. I also ordered the Color Science, the puff with the powder. So I ordered that, and I ordered that because... Marlene Fab and Glam over 50 talks about that one a lot and she lives in Florida you know so she's all about how to protect her skin as well so I wanted something that I could carry in my purse and not necessarily have to reapply necessarily with a cream or a lotion but to puff a powder and have some more touch up and coverage so she suggested that one so I ordered it I'm hoping I'm hoping it comes in it hasn't um, it hasn't you know come in yet but I'm hoping it comes in Monday or Tuesday at the latest um, because we leave Wednesday morning so I'm hoping it comes in now I still am going to be using my Sarah V. This is the 50, the lotion. I like this a lot. Um, this has the zinc, the invisible zinc. It's the face lotion. I, I this, this sometimes I get really red when I put this on. So I have to be really, really careful with this. I also have a Neutrogena 70 clear that I'm bringing. So that's kind of like what I'm thinking about bringing down to, you know, to Vegas. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, just kind of let me know. You know, um, we are leaving in a couple of days, and I, my plan is, if everything goes well, is to do this sort of like vlog, vlog style. So update you as I am progressing and uh, unpacking, believe it or not. And um, yeah, I, I got my new luggage for my birthday, but hopefully you all saw that. And um, yeah, so I've been packing and trying to figure out what to bring to Vegas, and I'm so excited. I've been to Vegas, but Jay has never, So, and neither one of us have been to the Grand Canyon, so I think that's going to be really exciting, really cool, so I'm looking forward to that. I am wearing my Raquel Welch wig, Flirt Alert, and um, I think I really like this wig a lot. I like how it feels. You know, it feels really, really good. I like that, so yeah. So that's scoop so far, and I will touch base with you later. Happy Sunday, March 3rd. And today is kind of going to be a really busy day for me. We're going to a baptism, and we're going to be going down to Massachusetts. 
and then I have to return a pair of jeans I bought. Let me show you the jeans. I was so angry that I I almost just put these in the suitcase to wear in Vegas because I wanted a pair of glitzy kind of jeans. And um, so last night when I was looking at them, for some reason, I just really looked at them because I was folding them up. And I discovered the security tag on the leg and it was like, oh my God. So yeah, we got to make a, a trip to Macy's, which is not anything we had planned today at all and we have a storm coming tonight they're calling it a nor'easter do you remember when we went to texas last year we had one before and one while we were out there which delayed our homecoming a couple of days let go my god thank you macy's i don't know why i never i should have watched the girl but you know what i don't pay attention to it and then there it is i'm afraid to remove it on my own because Sometimes there's ink in there, and um, I got the slip, so obviously I'm just going to um, make that trip and return this baby, or not return it, but get them to take it off. Hey guys, so we just got home. I um, tried to, I tried to rope Jay into doing a video with me, the, the assumption tag. So I don't know if I'm gonna actually publish it because it it's, it seemed rather corny. Um, I don't know. But anyways, I just wanted to kind of do a little a little different take on it. So we had a great day. We went down to Massachusetts, and I'm going to insert a couple of uh, photos here of the... We didn't go to the church for the christening, so we just went to the house afterwards for a little bit of a lunch. Took Mom, and Dad wasn't feeling well, so he stayed home. But took Mom and Jay and I went down. And it's just really lovely to see Mom holding the baby. And then you can see me with my sister and my two nieces and my mom and the baby. So it was just a really, it was a low-key afternoon, and then I did hit Macy's, and they did remove that tag, which is super, super awesome. So now, tomorrow, depending on the storm, but I'm hoping that I can do all my final packing tomorrow. <sighs> tomorrow night, I have a hairdresser's appointment. I don't know what to do with my hair. I don't. Oh, well. March 4th came in last night and it's going to snow all afternoon uh. so it's been I, I worked from home all day but one of the really cool exciting things is I have been really wanting to try this new foundation this is the CYO I've seen a few reviews on YouTube and um, the reviews were not too bad, you know, mixed bag. So I love my Boots Number no. 7 Lift and Luminate Foundation. That's what I've been wearing the longest for drugstore. I really like it the best on me. And then I love, love, love my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation that I got. And the Estee Lauder is just, it's, it is really, really nice. But I was really curious about the, the CYO. So I tried to order it on my Walgreens website, but they were sold out, sold out. And finally, they restocked. Now, they don't have it in the store. So what I did is I ended up ordering. There was a sale. It was by, they were $7 a piece. Buy two, get one free. If you ship to the store, you get free shipping. And you can also do your Ebates, of course. And then you get your Walgreens credit. So, um... So we did that, and it came in this morning. So Jay went and got it. I have 107, 106, and 104. I'm going to insert the clip right here on my arm so you can see where I put the 107, the 106, and the 104. I think the 107 is going to be closest to what I need for my skin, but I'm not sure. But I do think that's what you know going to be the closest. The 104 seemed awfully light. I haven't tried it on my face yet, but you know, who knows? We'll see. The other thing I got in today, and I had requested this from a Becca from the Octoly Network, and this is in the shade Orchid. I actually have it on right now, and I really like it. This is a, a lippy that was sent to me from the Octoly Network, free, as you all know, and I just think it's really pretty. I'm not a dark lipstick person, but I'm like really digging this. I really like it. And I don't know if I can do this with one hand or not, but I'm going to try. <laughs> Listen to this. 
<laughs> I just think that's like so cute. So anyways, I got that in and I also got in just in time for my trip. Oh, hold on. I gotta go get it in, bring it in. Trip is, oh, I'm so excited about this. Um, UPS just delivered it. And this is the, the color science. So I don't know yet. You know, I haven't even tried it, haven't even opened it, but I'm like super psyched because I wanted something I could put in my purse and then touch up easy enough for sunblock. You know, Vegas, the Grand Canyon for a couple of days before and all that. I didn't want to, you know, especially with the new tretinoin that I'm using and super, super peely skin. Oh, super. And then, um, yeah, I didn't want to run any risks. I wanted to hop back on here before I took all my makeup off. Um, I went to hairdressers. And she cut about two and a half, maybe three inches off across the bottom. And then she gave me a bunch of different layers. So, and then she, she, she gave me a really straight do and then she put the curls in it. So I kind of, I kind of really like it. And I'm, I'm just hoping that I can fix it myself as good. So, but I do, I like it. What do you guys think? <laughs> Now I'm taking my makeup off. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is March 5th. And um, as you saw in the previous clip, I had my hair done last night, cut. And then all I did this morning, it was like really wild. All I did this morning, was I sprayed my Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Bodybuilder. I bought this, oh gosh, it was before my niece's wedding. And one of um, Marge, who I think hangs out more on Instagram, had recommended this. So I had bought this. And of course, my hair was a little bit longer and I wore it up a lot. But this morning, all I did is I got up and I didn't even curling iron. I didn't do any, add any more beachy waves. I just kind of like sprayed my hair, shush, 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 my fingers, then kind of combed it through. And then this is how it came out. I think it. I think for a second day here, it held pretty good. On my face this morning is the number 107, the CYO Foundation. And um, I'll tell you, when I put it on, I had to build it up. It's, it, I think it's a, a much lighter coverage than even my boots number seven. So I did have to build it up. I did have to use concealer over my veins, which I have to do all the time as well. Now, I made a mistake and I used the matte setting spray, which I don't like because it makes me feel dry. So I'm going to see how this holds out for the entire day because, you know, we'll see. It's, I mean, it's pretty reasonable. And then on my lips this morning is the Becca lipstick that I had got. This is a satin finish, so I'm going to top it off with a gloss because I really like that. But this was the lipstick I showed you in the clip from yesterday. And I still haven't done my color science, so I get to talk to my good friend Marlene Fab and Glam, and I got to have her give me directions on how to use this baby before we head out of town. So the plan is that we're gonna get on a flight really early tomorrow morning, and then we'll be in Vegas probably 3 p.m. our time, Eastern Standard, noon time, their time. And we're renting a car. We have that all set to pick up at the airport. We're going to be renting that car, and we're driving to the Grand Canyon for two days. So I'm hoping to add a couple of clips to this and, um, and then probably post this sometime as my first part of my vlog because the first few days in the Grand Canyon, maybe I'll, I'll add some clips, not a whole lot, but um, and then Vegas for the convention. So it should be fun. So it is, oh, almost bedtime. Uh, not really. So I think it's about six o'clock and um, we just finished dinner and I'm doing my final packing. And so Jay had called me and he said, you got a package today. So he said, it, it's from that company that has sent you handbags. So I was like, oh, so when I came home, I opened it up. This is from Balonzo. And I know I'm probably... Bolanza, Bolanzo. I may be saying it wrong. I think I always say it wrong, but the, it's really awesome. So it's sort of like a travel pack. They sent a purse companions, eyeshadow palette, beauty blenders, and moisturizing gloves. I was like, oh my gosh. So this little cute little palette, I haven't swatched it or anything like that. And I haven't opened up the gloves, but there's moisturizing gloves in here. Oh, and that sounds heavenly. And they also sent 
some earrings and a bracelet in here, which is really cool. But, so I've been looking at, um, I don't mind the clothes hanging there. I don't know if you can see this. They sent a, I guess, I guess you would, I don't know. I call it a fanny pack. <laughs> I don't know. But it's, you strap it around your waist and it's perfect. Ooh, it's leather. It's perfect. It's sturdy. It's got a wide band. I'm going to show you. I'm going to turn the camera on and really show you because it's really cool. I mean, look at these. It's like amazing. I mean, do you want to talk about a sturdy band? It's got two zippered compartments. Now, this compartment, I have a really super big phone, so my phone won't go all the way in here. But in the center, there's plenty of room for your money, for your passport, for all sorts of stuff in there, and my phone. And then another compartment here. So, you know, maybe passport would go in here. It's really, this is really a cool fanny Welcome pack. Welcome to Manchester, Boston Regional Airport. 438. Took you a long time. Yeah. Oh. We're on our journey. Yeah. On the first leg of it anyways. I thought this view was so cool as we're getting ready to land in Chicago. The city skyline. Oh. And this was over... And I think this was the Grand Canyon area in Arizona. And this is actually really cool to fly over and watch it and then go visit it. It was like awesome. So we landed in Las Vegas and we rented a car. It took a while to get our luggage and to figure out how to get to the car rental place at the airport. You know, every airport's a little different. We had to take a shuttle to get our luggage and all that. But then we rented the car and found our way out of Vegas and on the road to the Grand Canyon. So we arrived late last night and I mean, we were literally totally wiped out. I mean, basically took a shower and went to bed. We were like exhausted from, I think it was like a, from, you know, when we landed in Vegas and got to the hotel. It was, by the, we stopped. Of course, we had something to eat. So it was like a six-hour adventure that just exhausted us. So um, today we're heading out. It's like, what did you say, Jay? It was 30? 41. 41. 41 degrees. It's cold. We don't have any winter clothes with us. So, Jason, we might have to go get wool hats. I'm like, nah, no wool hats. So we've totally trashed our hotel room. But the hotel room isn't, isn't bad at all. It really isn't. Um, two queen-size beds and um, a little balcony. So if I was a smoker, I'd really love that balcony because I'd go out there and smoke. But I'm not a smoker anymore. So, yeah, so uh, I don't know. We're going to head out. I have no idea what the day will bring. But we are in... Arizona. Arizona. How cool. I'll buy something to put over my ears because it's freezing. Amazing views. I had to get this thing in my ears. It's actually really warm. I'm surprised. They said it was too. They said, and then you can put it, you know, over your hair and keep yourself really super warm. So we walked a couple of miles in total, and literally, as Jay said it, you walk five steps and you just won't believe the views. And so I just went off the path here, and you know, I mean, this is kind of like a rough terrain and brush all around, but when I got to the edge, and there's like no railings, there's nothing at all on the edge here, but when I got to the edge, I was like mesmerized. One thing I discovered is that the camera does not do it justice at all. It was just incredibly phenomenal, and the views just never ended. That's snow down there, babes. There's snow down there. Love this wood, huh? Said he hasn't kissed me in the Grand Canyon. Hey guys, so Jay and I have had the most phenomenal two days. It's been absolutely incredible. 
I was going to end the vlog with the grand kiss, but then I realized I had to really say something more because none of my photos, none of the videos, none of the photos Jay took, none of them show how magnificent, how unbelievably beautiful the area is. And it reminded me so much these last two days. And I'm an outdoors lady. I love walking the beach. I'm a beach baby. So to me, this is like cold, snow, stuff like that. It wouldn't be normally what I would anticipate that I would love so much. But just to see the beauty of Mother Earth, how magnificent the whole area is to think about our national parks and all our national resources and it, it's just overwhelmingly beautiful here and I am so glad we did these two days. We had these two days together and we just enjoyed it. was very simple. We, it was low key. We did a lot of physical activity. We walked around a lot. We exhausted ourselves a lot. But it is just unbelievably beautiful and I'm going to treasure and I know Jay is going to treasure every moment of the last two days. So I'm filming in my bathroom in the hotel. It's late. We're exhausted and we're going to leave very, very early tomorrow morning. So we're going to get some packing done tonight. We're going to leave very early tomorrow morning. We're going to head south. Uh, we're going to head towards Vegas. So we're going to go through Route 66 probably mosey on I don't know what we'll see there and then we're gonna stop at the Hoover Dam and then we'll be into Vegas and uh, Jay will drop me off at the hotel he'll go return the car then he'll uber back to the hotel and convention life will begin for the next few days so I uh, will probably do another vlog sharing some of that but I just kind of wanted to end this vlog just by just by saying to every single one of you you know take every moment you can to really appreciate the world you live in and the times we live in and appreciate the people in your lives you know treasure those moments and if and if you can't go away and you can't afford to do certain things there's so many things that you can do that are free that you can treasure just treasure every moment and spend it with your loved ones and you know don't stress over the stuff you can't change you don't stress over that don't stress over all that just look at the world around you. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. And I wish that my pictures or Jay's pictures and the videos could actually capture how absolutely incredible this whole area is. And it can't. It can't. So I guess, um, yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I know it's a long vlog. And I know, you know, for some of you, you're not into the vlogs, but. I appreciate every single one of you. I, I often say to people, my subscribers are, they're way more than just subscribers. You're all my friends, you're all my family. And I think I have the best, best group of friends on YouTube imaginable. Every single one of you, you're awesome. So thank you for watching. Thank you so much for being here with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.